It has been one of the most speculated stocks in the Nasdaq over the recent years. Some have said that it might be the next Tesla. Most people believe that it might do well now, but it's eventually going to burst. Regardless, this is one of the most speculated stocks in the stock market in the recent years. As one of the heavyweights in the burgeoning industry, Lucid is also one of the few companies actually having a product. As time went on, the stock's price action, along with the investors' hype and hopes, went through some huge roller coasters. And some are still wondering if it's time to jump in this bandwagon. In today's video, we will look at Lucid and to see if the company still deserves to have a place in our portfolio. If you appreciate my content, please consider to drop a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, please check out the links in the description below, as every help is greatly appreciated. Lucid Motors, also known as Lucid Group, is an EV manufacturer that is poised to shake up the industry with its cutting-edge technology and designs. While other EV manufacturers have been making strides in the industry, Lucid stands out with its advanced battery technology, the dynamic designs, and the commitment for a sustainable business model. One of the key differences of Lucid Motors is the battery technology. It is known for significantly longer range and faster charging times compared to the competitors. Its car, Lucid Air, is capable of traveling over 500 miles on a single charge and charged to 20% in just 4 minutes. This sets the company apart from the competitors like Tesla. Another differentiator for Lucid Motors is the aerodynamic designs. The company's first vehicle, Lucid Air, features a very sleek and nice design that not only looks stunning, but also helps to improve the airflow and the efficiency of its energy. Lucid Motors also incorporates lightweight materials like carbon fiber into the vehicle to further improve the efficiency and the range. This attention on detail sets the company apart from other companies who may prioritize function or economies over form. In addition to the advanced technology and design, Lucid is committed to sustainable business model. The company uses renewable energy sources to power its production facilities, and it's committed to reduce its environmental impact throughout the entire life cycle of the vehicles. This commitment sets the company apart as well. There is also another aspect that I would say is what separates Lucid from the other ones, but is now more blurry, which is its focus on luxury. The company's first vehicle, Lucid Air, is a luxury vehicle sedan boasting a spacious and comfortable interior, advanced driver's assistance systems, and a host of other luxury features. This focus of luxury sets Lucid apart from other companies, which may prioritize affordability over the premium features. So Lucid has been able to recover above $8 recently, which is excellent news, considering that the company's shares have been going down in value over the past few weeks, going as low as $6.50 at one point. It's worth mentioning that this recovery has been observed by many titles today, and that this is likely a market-wide recovery move. Currently, the upward momentum for Lucid seems intact and I believe that the price would reach higher levels eventually. In the medium and long term, though, things might be more mitigated. So, what is your take on the company's short-term perspectives? Do you intend to buy now or to sell your positions? Please let me know down in the comments. If we look at the company's long-term tendencies, it's not hard to see that the bubble that gave so much hope to traders around the world has now bursted. The market is no longer willing to blindly follow the latest hype, and sometimes I would say that it's also because it cannot continue this bubble forever. I mean, the industry is facing some significant headwinds coming its way, and at some point, the power points are no longer enough. We have to see profits. The market has long predicted that there will be a bearish market after such a prolonged bull market, and that most stakeholders believe that it's going to be a very rough patch for a few years. The market peaked twice in the past, and if the first peak was caused by pure hype, the second one was triggered by the rollout of actual products. Lucid remains a company that 
as an investment has a lot of value. The main question in everyone's mind is when should they enter in the stock? The long grind to lower price levels is likely caused by the market trends rather than the company's fundamentals. So in that sense, things are not as alarming as they may seem. On the other hand, we should remember that sometimes, even if those grinds don't have an actual fundamental reason, they can still last a very long time, bringing the title to an unbelievably low price. Hylion and Paysafe would be good examples of this. Lucent Group, an electric vehicle manufacturer, has a strong financial performance in 2022. The company reported revenues of around $200 million for Q3 of 2022, a significant increase from the $232,000 in Q3 of 2021. This has mainly been caused by the launch of Lucid Air, the company's first vehicle, which began deliveries in late 2021. Lucid Air is a luxury electric sedan that has been well received by consumers and that has helped to establish the company as a massive major player in the industry. Currently, Lucid has a negative net income caused by the fixed costs and other operating expenses that should be absorbed once the volume picks up. Overall, the company's financial figures paint a picture of a company that is growing its operations but lacks a little bit in discipline of cost control and needs to scale up the operations to start having positive cash flows. Now, let's also talk about the shareholder composition because it is something that's quite important to determine if the company is good for trading or investing. Given that 72% of the total float is owned by the institutions, this would mean that the price volatility should be lower than most other stocks. The reason why this might be the case is because institutional shareholders have far more diversified portfolios and they can tolerate the short-term volatilities. Another behavioral difference is that institutional shareholders tend to be more active and involved in the corporate governance. They're more likely to vote on important matters like mergers and acquisitions. They also tend to be more vocal in expressing their opinions on companies' directions and performances. Retails, on the other hand, tend to be far less active. They may not get involved, they may not vote, they may not be informed of important decisions to begin with. They just hope that they can yield a profit from owning a share. The short interest in Lucid has been increasing in recent weeks, meaning that more and more investors are betting against the company's stock by short-selling it. The short sellers borrow shares of the stock and then sell them in the market, hoping to buy them back at a lower price later and to return them to the lender, profiting from the difference. As of most recent data, the short interest represents about 7.5% of the total shares outstanding. This is a moderate level of short interest. It's also worth noting that it has been increasing in recent weeks and this can be a bearish sentiment amongst investors. Now, if the company has been reporting strong outlooks and results, this could lead to a short squeeze. I mean, things are not really that clear cut in the real world, but generally speaking, people would come in if the fundamentals are good. If more people buy, then the shorts would have losses. The more losses there are, the more compelled the people short positions want to recover. It's important to note that the short interest is not a guarantee of a short squeeze, but it's a metric worth monitoring for the investors. It's also worth considering that the short sellers may have valid reasons for their bearish sentiment, and a short squeeze may not happen, regardless of how many stars are being aligned. Given the current analysis, I would recommend to buy lucid shares now and to hold it over the next 12 months or more. After all, the main recommended approach for me is the medium and long-term investment. So the short-term volatilities should matter very little. We can use it to find the optimal entry point, and I believe that we are very close to the region below which Lucid is unlikely to go. I would recommend to keep the exposure between 3-5% to of your portfolio.